Good morning, guys. We are going to head out to the marsh this morning and uh, kind of running in a similar setup to what I've been running. So I got the decoy sled with uh, a few dozen, or two, like two dozen decoys, the dog sand, Mo Marsh and Visiman, and I've also got a bunch of other decoys up here. What we're going to be doing today is something I've wanted to try for a while. And uh, we're basically going to just set a really big spread in a marsh and see what works. So it's going to be quite a bit of work early on. But fingers crossed everything works out and we can shoot some ducks. Cora's coming with. She's in her lucky duck crate there. But yeah, I think it's going to be a good day. So let's go ahead and get out there and start getting set up. All right, guys. Everything's set and ready to go. Brown dog's ready. I'm ready. We got, I think, six dozen decoys out. So that's pretty cool. That's the most I've ever done on a solo hunt. So I'm excited to see how this hunt goes. I've heard ducks flying already. We got 10 minutes till shooting time. So I hope Cora brings her A game today. The water is a little deep, so she'll be swimming for the most part on retrieves, which should help us with a uh, with completing the delivery part of the retrieve. So I'm excited about that. So hopefully we can shoot a few ducks. <coughs> Yeah, she broke on that one a little bit. That's all right. Little green winger. That group didn't quite finish like I thought it was going to, but I'll take the one for sure. Good girl, here. Good girl. Once again, shooting these uh, Remington Nitro Steel twos. Good girl. Good girl! Good! Here! Here! Where are you going? You going the easy way here? Fetch. Little green wing. Nice job, dude. Sit. Got a green winger. Little green wing hen. Good retrieve by Cora. She's she's gonna definitely need some work. It's all part of it. She's a young pup. I mean, she, I can count on two hands how many hunts she's been on, but it's really annoying me that she's not coming back to me. She's wanting to get to dry ground with the bird. So I don't know if I need to go out and meet her or what I need to do, but we'll keep working on it. That was a solid retrieve. She did good. Um, she broke, but It was on a follow-up shot. So, I mean, still unacceptable, but it was like half a second before I was going to send to her. So, I don't know. We'll see what the next group does, but hey, I'm happy with that. Well, I think that is a wrap for today's hunt. One duck. But check out the decoy spread. It looks so cool. Oh, also, I'm using the uh, Tetra Custom Shields now. Love them. So if you guys are looking to get some hearing protection that's top of the line and going to give you the best sound quality, Tetra is the way to go. That didn't work. But here's the, here's the decoy spread. Spoonies, Widgeon, Gadwall, Pintail, got Pulsators out there, the old motion ducks. Got the motion ducks out there. Oh yeah. Everything looked good. The hard part about this is like everything looks so good, like the decoys spread, my hide, everything. There's just no ducks here right now, so 
have to give this place a rest and hopefully find a better spot with more birds but yeah one green wing I don't I don't really think I can complain about I'm, I can't complain about that yeah I mean I, I could definitely go for a good barrel burner right now but I honestly think that these really low-key low bird hunts with Cora is a good thing it's uh stop whining she's a big time whiner and it's really starting to annoy me uh, <laughs> I think it's good because she's, it's really low key. It's not a lot of action happening and when we do have action, I'm really only shooting one bird. So I don't know, we'll keep at it and hopefully we'll find a good hunt here pretty soon, but I'm gonna get this stuff picked up. Well, all in all, it was another one duck day, but that's just kind of how it goes sometimes. Uh, it's tough right now. Like the birds, we had birds for opener and then they got pressured super hard and everything went stale really fast. So hopefully within the next few days, we can get another cold front that pushes through and maybe pushes some new birds in and gives us some fresh opportunities. But it, that's just kind of how it goes. A lot of times in November, it's really slow up until about Thanksgiving time, which I always have to tell myself that like, this is normal. This is not out of the norm. Like this is usually what happens within the first couple weeks of the season. But yeah been using the boat loving it got that 23 horsepower mud buddy on it that thing's doing pretty good i wish it was a 27. i honestly think that the 23 is just a little bit slow 27 would be perfect 35 would be way too much so i'll keep that in mind i might end up getting a new mud buddy here one of these days but the 23 works great um loving using the invisa man and the dog blind and all that like all the new stuff this year I got, I was super excited about using it. I love using it just as much as I thought I was going to. So that's definitely a plus. But you know, all in all, one duck, Cora got a retrieve. We're getting time and experience in the field and that's what all, all that matters. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you have not already. And I think I'll catch you guys on the next one.